Hi, I'm Nancy Berliner from HPE Technical Marketing Engineering. HPE Electra Storage MP Disconnected is designed for customers in air-gapped environments where they're unable to connect to HPE's cloud-based data services cloud console due to the specific requirements of their business. This dedicated platform offers the same intuitive management interface but runs on a dedicated server on-prem instead of in the cloud. In this demo, you'll see how you can efficiently manage your HPE Electra Storage MP B10,000 storage arrays using HPE Electra Storage MP Disconnected. DSCC on-prem has similar tiles as the cloud-based version. You'll primarily use Data Ops Manager and Block Storage for management, but DSCC also allows you to initialize your system using the setup service, set up dual authorization, and view detailed system tasks, among other things. The look and feel of managing a system on-prem are exactly the same as with cloud-based management. The Data Ops Manager dashboard provides an overview of all the systems of your environment. The performance section displays latency, IOPS, and throughput for the top five systems and volumes over the past hour so that you can verify they're performing as expected. You can see the percentage of capacity remaining on each system, plus any issues that have been identified, including new versions of system software that are available. A single instance of Electra Storage MP Disconnected can manage multiple storage arrays, so let's go look at one of the four that we see here. In the Capacity section, you can see total savings from data reduction, broken down by reducible and non-reducible data. In the Performance tab, the Headroom shows how much additional workload your system can handle while maintaining optimal performance. And this is broken down by the top five volume contributors. You can create custom charts for specific system metrics like volumes, hosts, replication links, and physical disks. And you can go back to any period of time within the last 30 days to view that high resolution data. The sustainability tab displays the power usage of the array over time. A question I'm frequently asked by customers is whether they can still transmit telemetry data and alerts to HPE support. That is still an option even for air-gapped customers since that data is sent using a different transport mechanism than the one used for connection to DSCC. You can configure that in the system setting area by enabling or disabling call home data from the array. A single instance of the on-premises platform can manage multiple storage arrays, including those located at remote sites. Therefore, you can still use DSCC to set up and manage replication. To set up a new replication relationship, you just select the storage arrays you want to replicate between and pair up their ports. You could then go to the block storage area and protect your volume set using any of our replication technologies. One final feature I want to highlight in Data Ops Manager is the ability to use DSCC for applying software updates to your storage system. As long as the system is connected to HPE support, new software versions will be pre-staged onto the storage array when they're available. In the software area for the system, you have the option to install the update immediately or schedule it for a later time. If your business requirements are such that your system cannot phone home, however, you can still update it by downloading the new version of the software from My HPE Software Center. Then use the Honoré UI to upload it to the system and proceed with the update either in DSCC or in the Honoré UI. The experience of provisioning storage for your application is also identical to cloud-based DSCC. Simply specify the details, including the type of workload and whether you want this group of volumes to have data protection, such as a snapshot schedule or replication policy. DSCC will then recommend the best fit storage array for your workload, taking into account the available performance headroom and capacity.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other two videos on configuring the dedicated platform and on initializing a storage device with HPE Electro Storage MP disconnected. Thank you.